How long does the coronavirus live on surfaces? As COVID-19 has spread, so has our anxiety of surfaces. There are now some familiar scenes in public places around the world. People trying to open doors with their elbows, travelers seriously coming their way through train rides to abstain from grabbing a handle, office workers scouring down their desks each morning. In the regions worst hit by the new coronavirus, group of workers in protective wear have been dispatched to splash a haze of disinfectant in parks and public streets. Cleaning system in workplaces, hospitals, shops and cafeterias have been expanded. In certain urban communities, volunteers even endeavor out around in the evening to scrub the keypads of money machines. In the same way as other respiratory viruses, including flu, COVID-19 can be spread in small droplets released from the nose and mouth of an infected person as they cough having the virus into the air. A particular cough can create up to 3,000 droplets. These particles can land on other individual, garments and surfaces around them, however a portion of a smaller particles can stay in the air. There is additionally some indication that the virus is likewise shed for longer in stool, so anybody not washing their hands completely after visiting the lavatory could infect anything they touch. An alarming recent study showed that viral DNA left on a hospital bed rail in an isolation room had spread within 10 hours to 18 other surfaces, including doorknob seats in a lounge area, kids' toys and books in a play zone. Despite the fact that they utilized a virus that infects plants rather than humans as a surrogate for SARS-CoV-2, it shows exactly how far a virus in a droplet of liquid that lands on a bed can spread by individuals contacting the surfaces. It is important that, as per the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, contacting a surface or item contaminated with the virus and afterward touching one's own face. Last May, the CDC updated its regulation to state that COVID-19 spreads, effectively, from individual to individual through contaminated droplets delivered by others as they chat, cough, sneeze and inhale. All things considered, the CDC, the World Health Organization and others health specialists, have highlighted that both washing one's hands and cleaning and disinfecting oftentimes contacted surfaces regularly are key in avoiding COVID-19 spread. The CDC's most recent direction for how schools, cafeterias and other open places can begin to reopen details the requirement for strengthened cleaning and disinfection of repeatedly contacted surfaces such as play area equipment, doorknobs, washroom taps and drinking fountains. It additionally concedes that researchers are as yet finding out about precisely how the virus spreads. In this way, despite the fact that we still don't know just how many cases are being initiated directly by contaminated surfaces, specialists instruct exercising attention. One part that has been uncertain is actually how long SARS-CoV-2, the name of the virus that causes the illness COVID-19, can last outside the human body. A few studies on different coronaviruses, such as SARS and MERS, discovered that they can live on metal, glass and plastic for up to nine days, except they are appropriately disinfected. It is discovered that the new corona infection remains profoundly active at 4 degrees Celsius, about 39 F. Then again, it turns out to be quickly inactivated at 70 degrees Celsius, 158 degree Fahrenheit. But some can even stay for as long as to 28 days in low temperatures. How long it continues relies upon the material the surface is made from. Remember that, specialists despite everything have a long way to go about the new coronavirus. Yet, you're presumably bound to get it from being around somebody who has it than from contacting a contaminated surface. There are recommendations which are centered in a household settings and are meant for the general public. Cleaning refers to the elimination of germs, dirt, and impurities from surfaces. It does not destroy germs, but by removing them, 
It brings down their numbers and the danger of spreading infection. Disinfecting refers to consuming chemicals such as EPA-registered disinfectants, to eliminate germs on surfaces. This practice does not necessarily clean dirty surfaces or eliminate germs, but by killing germs on a surface after cleaning, it can additionally bring down the threat of spreading infection. Here's a guide on how long coronavirus is. The group of viruses that contains the one that causes COVID-19, can live on a portion of the surfaces you likely touch every day. Different kinds of surfaces. Metals like door handles, jewelry, silverware can survive until five days. Woods such as furniture, decking can last up to four days. Plastics like milk containers and detergent bottles, subway and bus seats, backpacks, elevator buttons can stay for two to three days. Stainless steel such as refrigerators, pots and pans, sinks, some water bottles can stay up to two to three days. Cardboard for example shipping boxes can survive until 24 hours. Copper like coins, tea kettles, cookware up to four hours. Aluminum such as soda cans, tinfoil, water bottles until two to eight hours. Glass such as drinking glasses, measuring cups, mirrors, windows can stay up to five days. Ceramics like dishes, pottery, mugs up to five days. Paper for example mail, paper money and newsprint. A few strains of coronavirus live for just a couple of moments on paper, while others live for as long as five days. Food for examples takeout, produce coronavirus doesn't appear to spread through food. Water coronavirus hasn't been found in drinking water. In the event that it gets into the water source, your nearby water treatment plant cleans and decontaminates the water, which should destroy any germs. Textiles such as garments and linens. There's not much study about how long the virus lives on clothes, however it's presumably not as long as on hard tops. Shoes. One research tried the shoe soles of clinical team in a Chinese hospital intensive care unit, ICU, and found that half were positive for nucleic acids from the virus. Yet, it's not satisfactory whether these parts of the virus cause infection. The hospital's general ward, which had individual with milder cases, was less contaminated than the ICU. Skin and hair. Dot. There's no study yet on exactly how long the virus can stay on your skin or hair. Rhinoviruses, which cause colds, get by for quite a long time. That is the reason why it's significant to wash or sanitize your hands, which are most likely to come into contact with infected surfaces. Coronavirus transmission. What you need to know. What you can do to lessen your chance of getting or spreading the new coronavirus. Clean and sterilize shared surfaces and items in your house and workplace consistently. This consists of Countertops, tables, door handles, bathroom fixtures telephones, consoles, keyboards, controllers, toilets. Use a household cleaning spray or wipe. If the surfaces are dirty, clean them first with soap and water and then disinfect them. Follow manufacturer's instructions for all cleaning and disinfection products for concentration, application method and contact time. If no manufacturer direction is available, consider the use of alcohol-based wipes or sprays having at least 70% alcohol to disinfect touch screens. Dry surfaces carefully to avoid pooling of liquids. Always read and follow the directions on the label to ensure safe and effective use. Wear skin protection and consider eye protection for potential splash hazards. Ensure adequate ventilation. Use no more than the amount recommended on the label. Use water temperature for dilution, unless stated otherwise on the label. Avoid mixing chemical products label diluted cleaning solutions store and use chemicals out of the reach of children and pets you should never eat, drink, 
Breathe or inject these products into your body or apply directly to your skin as they can cause serious harm. Do not wipe or bathe pets with these products or any other products that are not approved for animal use. You can likewise make a bleach solution that will be useful for as long as 24 hours. Mix 5 tablespoons one -third cup of household bleach per gallon of water, or 4 teaspoons per quart of water. Never mix bleach with ammonia or another cleanser. Leave cleaners or bleach solutions on surfaces for at least one minute, and allowing proper ventilation during and after application. Check to ensure the product is not past its expiration date. Keep surfaces sanitary, regardless of whether everybody in your house are healthy. Individuals who are infected may not show symptoms, however they can at present still shed the virus. Always wash your hands with soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds before and after eating. Coughing, sneezing and after blowing one's nose. After using the toilet and after handling garbage. After touching animals and pets. Before and after giving routine care for another individual who needs assistance. After you visit the pharmacy or grocery store or bring in takeout food or a delivered newspaper. It's also advisable to wash fruits and vegetables under running water before you eat them. Clean them with a brush or your hands to eliminate any germs that may be on the surface. In the event that you have a weakened immune system, you should buy frozen or canned produce. There's no proof that anyone has gotten the virus from food packaging. However, you can wipe down takeout containers or grocery items and let them air dry. Wash or disinfect reusable grocery bags after each use. Wash used fabrics frequently, using the warmest water that the company recommends. Dry them completely. Wear disposable gloves when taking care of an ill person's clothing. Discard them when you're done, and wash your hands. The virus most likely won't live the time it takes for mail or other dispatched items to be delivered. The highest risk comes from the individual delivering them. Limit your contact with delivery people as much as you can. You might likewise leave packages outside for a few hours or spray them with a disinfectant before bringing them in. Wash your hands immediately after you handle mail or a package. In the event that you need, you can clean the soles of your shoes and refrain from wearing them inside. Coronavirus and temperature. Coronaviruses normally don't live as long in higher temperatures and humidity levels than in cooler, drier conditions. Specialists are reviewing whether exposure to heat, cold, or sunlight affects how long the new virus stay on surfaces. Coronavirus viability. Researchers likewise don't know how much of the virus it takes to cause an infection. Regardless of whether a limited quantity stays on a surface for days, this might not be enough to make you sick. Remember, you can't really control what to touch. You can't really control who else contacted it. However, you can take care of your own hands and surrounding.